Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to use Amazon Marketing Services sponsored product ads to advertise your books. And all of the guides that we offer on our website, you can also find on Amazon. And uh, naturally, I've taken advantage of the AMS ads to increase sales. And it actually works pretty effectively right now. So here's how to get started. First of all, let's explain what we're talking about here. Here's the Amazon homepage, and I'll show you what happens when you search for a book using a certain keyword. So let's say that you're going to be going to business school and you want a book about becoming an MBA. So you search for MBA. And in the search results, you'll see a bunch of titles. You should totally get an MBA or this one, MBA admissions interview guide. Notice how it says sponsored right up here. That means someone used an Amazon marketing services sponsored, uh, sponsored product ad to get on this page when I search for the term MBA. And I bet if I search for similar terms like uh, NBA GMAT, I'd see similar results. Oh, I was wrong about that. Oh, it doesn't know what MBA GMAT is. Let's just change that to GMAT. Okay. Once again, sponsored product based on the keyword GMAT. So it shows me all these GMAT prep guides. And then below that, it actually shows you the organic search results uh, that Amazon's algorithm uses to display all of, your, all of the books about GMATs. And there's probably hundreds of these books. But if you want to get to the show up in a more prominent place, then sponsored product ads are the way to go. There's also another type of ad called headline ad, uh, which are shown up here. I'm not going to get into those today, but I'll do another video about that, which you can find on our YouTube channel. All right, so let's get going on creating an Amazon Marketing Services sponsored product ad. This is the dashboard for Amazon Marketing Services. I'm assuming that you do have an account with AMS. If not, um, go to your either to your KDP account, your Kindle Direct Publishing account, and look for the uh, the marketing tools or just go to ams.amazon.com, AMS which you can see up here, and uh, register, and then use your KDP credentials. Or if you have an Amazon Advantage account, use that one. That's actually superior to the KDP account because you can use uh, a type of advertisement that's not available to the KDP people. I won't get into that today, but let's just get started on creating a sponsored product campaign. Click New Campaign. Oh, it's going to ask me to log in. I bet it's going to show me a captcha. Oh, it didn't. Okay, so you have a choice of several different types of ads depending on how your account was set up. I have a choice of these four. The one I'm interested in is sponsored product. And if you hover over it, it'll kind of highlight and then just click that. Um, so there's two different types of ads. The easy way to go, actually, is just to take the standard ad, and this will be really quick. So actually, let's do this. Um, a standard ad. So it'll just show the, basically the book with the title and stuff. You won't be able to create a headline or anything like that for it. But that's not too bad because it'll still show up in the search results. Um, choose products to advertise. For some reason, this is, this is my brand name. And if I search for stuff in there, so I want to advertise a book called Dropbox in 30 minutes. For some reason, when I search... It doesn't show up in here, even though it's one of my books. I don't know why that is. So I'm just going to search in Amazon, and it'll show up. And actually, what starts to happen sometimes is the uh, – I'm going to just add this. So I selected the book that I want to advertise. Campaign name. Okay, I'm going to call this Dropbox. SP for sponsored products, and I'm just going to leave the date there. That should be good enough. Average daily ad budget. So the minimum is one. I usually put five for these, $5 per day. Duration. Run campaign continuously starting today. Be careful with this because if you set up an an, a daily budget of, like, let's say, a lot of money, um, let's say I put $10 down here per day, and you, it's running continuously, and it's hitting the maximum every day, in the course of a year, you're going to be spending 
uh, more than three thousand five hundred dollars, three three thousand six hundred fifty dollars to be exact. Or in a month, it'll be you know three hundred dollars if it's a ten dollar per day limit. So you want to be really careful with this because if you're not paying attention, you can spend a lot of money. It's safer for many people just to select a date range, the start and the end date. Um, maybe put it a month in the, in the future. I'm going to do run campaign continuously starting today because I look at these. I look at the performance every few weeks and I track it pretty well. Automatic targeting. Save time and let Amazon target your ads to relevant customer searches based on your product info. Don't do that because Amazon is Amazon's algorithm is actually kind of dumb. Um, it doesn't. Sometimes it 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 finds stuff that's not really relevant to your book. Um, of course, they're improving it, and I bet in a couple years' time, it will be pretty good, the automatic targeting, but I've found it to be not that good. Do manual targeting. So, actually, look at this. They've, this is, uh, they've suggested some pretty interesting keywords here that might be good. Um, I can add them all, but actually, I want to take out a couple. For instance, um, Dropbox in 30 minutes, I do not want to add that because that's the title of the of my book and basically it should show up anyways in organic search. So I don't want people to click on click on an ad for searching on, on this term because they'll find it anyways without it. So and then you'll see other titles that they suggest including competitors titles, Dropbox for dummies. So it, Amazon's algorithm knows that people searching for Dropbox in 30 minutes also search for Dropbox for dummies. Um, and there might be other titles too. And it is legal for you to do this. You can include the name of another author or another competing title in, as your keyword. And they can do it to you too. So just keep that in mind. Set default cost per click, CPC bid for suggested keywords, 50 cents. That means um, the maximum amount that people will pay for clicking on your ad will be 50 cents per click. That is pretty high. Uh, you know, you have to balance how much you want to pay for someone to click on an ad versus how much profit you'll get from it. This is called return on investment. So if your CPC bid is really high, and let's say 10 people click on the ad, but only one person buys the book, that means conceivably you will have spent $5 to make one sale. And if your profit is below $5 per title, you're gonna be losing money on these advertisements. So I recommend starting lower. I usually do 24 cents or 25 cents. Um, I have two decimal points there, which is why it's showing that error. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that if, you, if it's lower, of course, you'll be competing with more people because mo more people, they start their bids lower. So you might be losing out on some potential um, traffic to your, to your page. But this is something you need to experiment with. And also, Amazon has tools. Amazon Marketing Services has tools, which lets you see the performance. So I'm going to make it 24 cents, but I'm going to add my own keywords. Let's change that to 24 cents. And what I do is I actually create keywords before I even start uh, making an ad. And these are, these are keywords that I have found to be the types of things people will uh, click on or they'll be searching for to find out about Dropbox. So talking about Dropbox user guide, Dropbox book, Dropbox cloud, Dropbox manual, um, including some competing titles, Evernote, which is another competing service, iCloud and OneDrive, et cetera. So I'm gonna copy the, all those terms, paste them, one keyword per line, right in here. You can also paste from a spreadsheet program. Um, match, I actually agree with their suggestion to keep it broad. So that means it'll, it's a little bit fuzzy. For instance, what is Dropbox? If someone searched for what is Dropbox today, they'll still see the ad. If it's exact, then only what is Dropbox will trigger the advertisement showing up, which is not ideal because sometimes people use different spellings or they mix it up a little bit. So I think broad is good, CPC bid, and then add. Okay, you can see all these keywords that I just pasted in are there, 24 cents. I can micromanage each amount if I want to. I can remove something if I want to, but I'm happy with that. And then it's ready to go. Um, I'm getting this error message because there's some there's an issue with my account. Uh, it, it's actually related to one of the set uh, an automatic pricing setting that Amazon has, which I'll deal with later. But that's basically how you can create the advertisement. And if you want to, you can go back and take a look at the ads that you've created. Okay, so 
it's pending these these are ads I've recently created they're pending review and here's our ads that I'm already running and in fact if I wanted to um, adjust a sponsored product ad all I would have to do is find it in this list like this particular one click on it and I could make modifications such as readjusting the amount I'm bidding or adding keywords or whatever so that's how to use Amazon Marketing Services sponsored product ads. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon Marketing Services, go to my YouTube page, which you can get to by going to in30minutes.com. Scroll to the bottom and click on the YouTube link, and you'll, you'll find it. For more questions about how to use other technical services, we have books about LinkedIn, genealogy, uh, Google Drive and Docs, Twitter, crowdfunding, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, etc. Go to in30minutes.com and thanks so much for watching.